Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing something from Bumblebee Movie. And before I state the character, you're probably wondering, why am I getting all this Bumblebee Movie toy stuff? Well, there's a reason to that. I love, I love the concept of Bumblebee Movie. They're just good-looking toys, and I like the movie-inspired designs. I don't have much Movieverse figures, but these are pretty awesome. But today, we'll be reviewing Energonic Nighter Dropkick. Yes. Bumblebee movie dropkick. And he was chasing after Cliff Jumper and then moved on to Bumblebee with his uh, sister Decepticon Shatter. And that's a little bit of a bio. <laughs> we get some product shot of the transformation and all the steps. Where to put the igniter. Warning information and all that. And of course, Bumblebee movie, Bumblebee on the cover, and Transformers Bumblebee, Decepticon Dropkick, and a product shot of Dropkick. And we even get a nice artwork of yours truly, Dropkick. And that's all there is to say for the package in. Now we're going to look at Dropkick himself. He rolls. Like rolling things should. You probably want to see the gimmick with this toy. And I love some gimmick items. They are fun. So we're going to put in the igniter. And watch him go. Insert the igniter. Press the button. And there he goes. Ain't that awesome. <laughs> he rolls. By himself. That's pretty cool. But now that we're done with this igniter piece, we don't need that anymore. But it is compatible with a regular igniter too, so let's bring that in. And it'll be the exact same gimmick, of course. But these things are very much compatible. Yeah, compatible. And that's all there is to say for the igniters. Now we're going to compare her next to Energon Igniter. Dropkick. Not dropkick. Sorry. Correction moment. Shatter. Dropkick and shatter. Together. And of course, barricade. For the rest of these comparisons, we'll be done in robot mode. So let's get down to transformation, which is very simple. To disconnect the wheels from the assembly, disc fold down the legs, disconnect the arms, like so. I've memorized this transformation after a while of having it. Sorry if I hum Ninja Turtles. I guess I'm watching 2003 Ninja Turtles again. <laughs> I love that show. I really gotta get more figures from that. We're gonna fold these in like so. Sorry, I got humming on the brain, you could say, today. <laughs> A little bit. Humming on the brain. And then we're going to fold them backwards, rotate, fold in, flip out the foot, rotate that inwards, and he's coming along real nicely. Second verse, just like the first, rotate, flip out the foot, fold in the panel, 
Make sure this connects into here. And then fold down the backpack to form his backpack, which is pretty clean, if I do say so myself. Fold down the guns like so. And there. You almost there. I gotta plug these into the tabs. And there you got Dropkick in his robot mode. And he is a neat looking helicopter bot. No bend at the knee or anything like that, but he can totally go outward and then um, roundhouse kick you. Like literally roundhouse kick you. Sorry if I had a dropsy moment. But now we're going to transform Shatter to compare her next to her brother, Dropkick. Her fellow Decepticon brother, Dropkick. Which I memorized the transformation on this. But there we got Shatter with Dropkick, and they look great together. And for another comparison, we're going to compare him next to Legends Bumblebee movie, Barricade, because he's Barricade. He's a Decepticon, and I love me some Barricade figures, for sure. Just as much as I love Megatrons and Optimus Primes because they rock. But here is Barricade next to Dropkick. And Dropkick is taller than this figure. But now we're going to do some comparisons with the Autobots. Here is Dropkick and Shatter next to Studio Series Cliffjumper, who they both killed in Bumblebee Movie. And of course, with their target, Bumblebee. And, of course, yours truly, Energonic Nighter, Optimus Prime. Are these worth adding to your Bumblebee Movie collection if you love Bumblebee Movie? I'd say if you haven't picked these up, you're missing out on some really good gimmick toys from Bumblebee Movie. They are really great figures, and they make good display pieces. And good figures to have for a long time. And they're inspired by the G1 design for Bumblebee and Optimus Prime, which I dig. And this is all there is to say for this video. And this is Eddie Hill. Gonna move out. But before I end this video, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out.